How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shit Take. Welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We're here in the menu because we're going to be loading up right into the next chapter because that's how those chapter saves go. And so, yeah, we're just going to be jumping right into the thick of it. But last time was really intense. Like, it was such an, like, a dense episode. It was way long. I ended up cutting a lot of stuff out of it, and it still was almost like, oh, it, it was approaching two hours. So, like, that was a big video. I'm going to just go on a limb here and say that this video is likely going to be much shorter. I mean, we're going to have a lot of plot that's going to be happening, but I'm also not intending to make this video so long. Like, that's that's that was an enigma. It was kind of, I got caught up in the moment. I didn't want to stop because everything was just so exciting. Uh, but that's not as common to happen. We're mostly going to keep them to being somewhere between, like, so I usually keep these around an hour. I don't want them to go too low, but not too much higher because... Personally, I base it on like what am I usually willing to watch on a YouTube video every day or so like and and if it's a longer than an hour That's that's an investment and that can take me a whole, couple days to get through so I just do it based on my personal habits. So whatever. Thank you so much for joining me though It's been a pleasure having you. We've had a couple new additions to the patrons You'll see them in the uh, end of the credits, but I really appreciate each and every one of your supports and also Fridays, Fan Fridays are where members and patrons get to vote on the next game we get to cover on Fridays. And uh, they have voted for a visual novel called Trails of Grisaia. So very highly regarded, very like heavily like quested. So I'm really excited to get that started. So that'll be coming out tomorrow from the, the release of this. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend it. If you're not into visual novels much, I recommend trying them out. They're not really games, I would say, like if you're expecting gameplay. But they have story depth and like character exploration that's like on par, if not superior, to what we see in Legend of Heroes. But that's not like degrading Legend of Heroes. Legend of Heroes is one of the best written stories I've come across so far. But that should just be a testament to how amazing visual novels are. Worth checking out if you haven't. Either way, let's jump into it and start the next chapter and uh, yeah, continue this wonderful journey with our favorite characters. I'm sad though, because I'm guessing. Kind of, uh, kind of like our bard friend, we'll have to say goodbye to Chloe, like, for real. Um, she's been awesome. Really contending for top girl spot. I can't decide. Like, it's one of those things where, like, if I, if you press me, I'll give you an answer for who I think top girl is. But it kind of changes based on when you ask me. <laughs> so, we'll have to see. But there's a lot more to explore. Maybe there's even better girl out there. So, well, regardless of that, let's jump right in. There the guys are the punks. <sighs> Stubborn B. Hey, hey, hey! Now he's keeping up with us with such a huge sword. <laughs> My training methods will beat you raw! <laughs> <sighs> Can't shake him! We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good, I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not gonna give up till he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really look like he can beat us two to one odds? <laughs> I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that. If you, you lose that, you lost everything. If I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when I took you when you took off with your tail between your legs. Silence, guard dog. Gilder dog. Oh, by the way, so it's been made abundantly clear from those of you who have watched. Beating these two, like I did, apparently, was essentially akin to. I don't know, rolling that best gotcha girl in one spin or, you know, like a miniature lottery win because apparently they shouldn't have gone down as quickly as they did. I got like, like, so I guess Joshua, a lot of his attacks have like a small percentage instant KO chance, right? Uh, Cloak and Dagger being one of them. I ended up using Cloak and Dagger twice and each in a row KO'd them like each. I just assumed that they weren't that big of a fight. I even commented saying that like, wow, the fights leading up to them were a lot harder than their fight with them. Apparently that was completely a fluke. <laughs> so, kind of cheated my way through that one. We can handle you. You're in for a painful death. God! Dang it, can't get caught now. Uh, okay, how about you just surrender? Give me your full confessions. Starting with who you are, what you're after. You need to concern yourself about that. What? Why did you get here? Commander! You came for us. 
you two are pitiful. You failed to report in as appointed, as appointed, and this is why. We have no excuses. We had a lot of interference. I get it. So you're the man in charge. <laughs> Only in this particular scene. Allow me to apologize on behalf of my men. Could you persuade? Could I persuade you to overlook this incident? Huh? Okay. Repeat that. I said that I'd like for you to overlook this incident. We never had any intention of running afoul of the Bracer Guild. Don't make me laugh! You think I'm just gonna look the other way? Let you get away with what you did? Ah, uh, well, I had thought the generous offer, personally. Certain, certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. I turn to the rendezvous point at once. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? Uh, uh, uh. Son of a... <laughs> Fine, the target may have changed, but as long as I have one. And you being the leader, I assume you got better information off of me than the underlings anyway. <laughs> you think it'll be that easy to take, make me talk? I sure as hell tend to find out. Oh boy. Oh, he's a freaking fast! <laughs> they even animated him like standing on the top of I Got Sword. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. You have an irrepressible passion, and a great weight bears abound upon you. You are not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of a crisis. But you know, I'm feeling all too well, no? Part of me wondering though, like, I'm talking with the voice of male, but what- I- I get- I'm getting this weird impression that this might be a girl, but I've no idea I'm supposed to tell that, so, you know. We'll- we'll just voice it necessary later. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Fine then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There's no shame in powerlessness. There's no shame in being over outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement? Screw you! Don't act like you know anything about me. You're in for one hell of a beatdown. <laughs> ah! Ah! And? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk, no shock. Bet the guild's gonna love interrogating you. Wait, what? What the? Is that a body split craft? I got sense something faint in the dark from the dark forest beyond. <laughs> nice try. You've got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out from hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he can gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forego all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. Her presence in the tree seems to have vanished. Well, that's annoying. Go? How the hell am I supposed to do that? Ah! That's so frustrating. Interesting. Chapter 3, The Black Orbment, Legend of Heroes, Trials in the Sky. Still running on my theory that the Orbment is somehow linked to the downfall of the form of civilization. Because like I said, if that technology existed, what if they had like essentially like, like, like the Black Orbment was able to just destroy orb technology in the surrounding area. Although it's interesting, it didn't affect our personal orbital devices, the small ones. Apparently it only affected the big ones. But then imagine someone launched like essentially a tactical nuke blab or black ornaments. Well, like the idea would be not so much a nuke, which is just using like nuclear reactions to cause a massive explosion that just destroys everything. But part of that explosion is an EMP, which disrupts and effectively neutralizes most electronic devices. In fact, it, what it technically does is ionizes and like supercharges like all current carrying alloys. So normally your wire allows a transfer of electrons hopping from, um, atom to atom and that flow is what uh what, like the excess energy given off by that flow is what is transmitted as electrical energy a emp blast saturates those lines with electrons making it so there can be no flow because essentially it's like um it's like water going through a pipe like it has to be able to be it has to be able to move an emp flash freezes everything in the pipe 
So sure, the pipe's still got like water or liquid in it, but it's frozen, can't move anymore. And so you have to essentially re deconstruct everything and rebuild it back up in order to really bounce back properly from an EMP. So maybe the black orbment essentially is a magic orbment style EMP. And that's what happened to the old civilization. Someone detonated a, like a super weapon version of that. And it just snuffed out. Like, I mean, it'd be the same thing that happened. Like what if, what if we had a super massive EMP or like a, it actually can be, it can be an event that can occur with us, uh, with our sun. It can do a, uh, a mass projection emission emission where it just releases a burst of like particles. I essentially think a sun flare, a solar flare, but like a really big one. Um, and if one of those, comes out which happens every like decade or so but if it happens to have a mass coronal ejection and hits our planet the part of the earth that's facing the sun would likely essentially experience a full emp blast so can you imagine if all electronics on a half of the planet's surface suddenly just went kaput like what would that do to civilization especially if it actually happened to happen to like supercharge the ionosphere and actually wrap around and essentially do the same thing to the whole planet if all technology suddenly ground to a halt uh, to a halt in an instant what would our civilization turn into like could we hold ourselves together without communication and our bare like necessities of like transportation communication um energy and survivability would we be able to hold together long enough to rebuild or would everything just collapse in on itself that's kind of the question We're on North Block. Guess he's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. Want to kill some time at the tavern? Yeah, it's nice out. I think I'd rather just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of the view of the river. Yeah, no kidding. At the same time, though, we'd want to make sure we're not here when it starts opening. I get the feeling that Ruan's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing, considering the uproar after the mayor of Delmore's arrest. Well, a seated mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Claus was arrested in Roland. Yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think about it that way, the people run almost seem... cold. I mean, they were clearly surprised by what happened, but not a single person was truly shocked as far as I could tell. Well, you have to remember, the mayor of Ruan has always been selected by Bloodline alone. He wasn't elected to his position by the Ruanians, and that probably makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, it's interesting. He held a democratic position, but was holding it via pedigree, which is really strange. It, kind of, it makes sense, though. I mean, that's, isn't that the, the case of the House of, the, of Lords in England, or at least when it was founded? I don't know if that's the case anymore. I don't know anything really about that stuff. But the idea of Parliament was divided between the gentry, the lords, and the peasantry, aka the commons, and like that, they're the two halves of Parliament. Now, Again, I don't think the lords are necessarily um, gentry any longer. Perhaps it simply is meant to represent um, like a political party now, rather than an actual like landed party of landed individuals. But maybe it is. Maybe maybe holding a title of lord uh, of uh, on on part of that par that half of the parliament means you have to have an investment in like British territory, like land ownership. And if that's the case, that would be interesting. Because there's a there's a good argument to be said that like as someone who owns property in the land would be more invested in making sure that land is successful, but it also kind of means that the rich get an advantage in politics, which is also not great. I mean, rich always have an advantage in politics, but to give it a shortcut to that advantage seems like a bad idea. They already have they already take they already throw the baby out with the bathwater. Why give them the laundry too? Anyway. Yeah, that's true. The people of Roland appointed Claus Mayor because they liked him and trusted him. Delmore is getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. Huh? Hey, it's Sieg. I know those wings. Oh, Sieg! Scree! Estelle, Joshua. There she is. Almost potentially best girl. God, it's tough. Like, I think Chloe is great. She's got a fantastic design. I love, I love, um, I love the bird. I like her fighting style, her attitude. Her magic's fantastic. But Estelle just channels that, like, wholesome, never gonna get down tomboy energy that's really hard to combat. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm late. 
No problem, we just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. You really didn't need to rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. Thank you very much for contacting me. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, Seek. Thanks for coming. Scree! <laughs> well then, shall we be off? Okay. We need to use the south exit to reach Sykes, right? Yes, on the southern road at the checkpoint called Ayrleton. You, you can set out for Zeiss from there. Roger that. Okay, let's go. Scree! I like Sieg. Now, I, I'm gonna try and see if I can go back to the, to the branch real quick and see if there are any quests I can grab. No. But I can talk to you. Oh, hey, you guys. Karna? Are you feeling better? Fit as a fiddle. Back at work as of today. I wish I had some way to pay you back for all the trouble I put you through. Oh, come on. Once you become full-fledged bracers, come back to Ruan. I'll be waiting for you. Are you planning to go to Zeist next? There may be clues about the Black Orbment there. I'll be real- it'll be a real load off our minds when you two get promoted to full-fledged bracers. I agree. I do like how everyone is cheering for us. I know you've been arrested. I just don't- What's going on? Yeah, I know, bro. If you'd been there, you would not be questioning it. City sure is noisy. Did something ma did something major happen, I wonder? Um Oh, I need to see. There's there might be uh, I need to always check for newspaper. Let's see if there's a new paper to read. I've never suspected Mayor Dalmore of such crimes. The position of Mayor Ron's been held by the Dalmores for generations. I suspect that one of them being arrested will be the end of the little tradition. For an old man like me, it's been a genuine shock. Alright, let's see. There will news equals six! Yes! Yes! Alright, let's take a quick read of that. Estelle. Chloe. God, They're both so cute! <laughs> I don't know which one's- Ah, uh, they're both amazing. I can't just pick one. They're both so good. Anyway, moving on from that, whatever that was. Um, books. Oh, not that. Nope. All right. Breaking story, Ruan Mayor arrested. A sudden arrest. Yesterday afternoon, Ruan's mayor, Morris Dalmore, 48, was arrested by the Royal Guard on suspicion of arson and intent to commit other crimes. His steward, Gilbert Stein, 25, was arrested on the same uh, charges. Both are in custody of intelligence division and have been transferred to the Lestian Fortress. So, scene of the arrest, that awesome airship. A horrifying rampage by the incumbent mayor. Mayor Dalmore is suspected of ordering an arson carried out by the Mer uh, Mercia Orphanage and plotting the theft of donations as well. I like that the, the picture they got of him is just that. Although those responsible for committing the acts have not yet been caught, the mayor, Stuart Gilbert, was seized at the scene suggesting his involvement. Araceli aids in arrest. Mayor Dalmore abruptly fled his residence during questioning by the Bracers Guild in an attempt to flee down the uh, Ro Robine River in his personal yacht. The Bracers reacted quickly and alerted the Royal Guard, who rushed to the scene a high-speed cruiser, Araceli, and used its hull as a barrier to thwart his escape. After the apprehension, the, sus uh, the suspect appeared to have a temporary lapse of memory, possibly due to shock, but has since regained his composure. What motivated such a despicable act? A figure born into privilege and wealth who... For years, managed affairs of the municipal government has fallen from grace, all for what in the end was nothing more than enormous debt born from insatiable personal greed. Ooh, that's a good way to put that. It is in, in, as, in an investigation conducted by the Liberal News, it was uncovered that Morris Dalmore had been engaged in a number of speculative market transactions. However, a year prior, these deals in the Republic fell through and he was left with a sub substantial debt. Again, Bitcoin. <laughs> In order to cover his losses, Dalmore diverted money from the city's budget and attempted to develop a number of resort homes to be built somewhere within the region. Perhaps reasoning the profit gained from some prime real estate would hide his pilfering from the city coffers and restore his prior wealth. Unfortunately, the key to his plan, the Mercia Orphanage, declined to offer to sell the land upon which it stood. The desperate suspect then resorted to arson and slipped into the, in, in, slipped into the heinous spree of crime. Society. Ruan awaits a speedy election. With the incumbent mayor under arrest and incapable of fulfilling his duties, Ruan's success succeeding municipal government is expected to endure an extended period of confusion. However, though the embossment of the, autocracy, uh, the aristocracy and simultaneous enactment of the royal charter, in an instance such as this one, the law stipulates that an election must be held at the earliest possible date and a new mayor selected. 
Therefore, in the interest of public stability, a prompt and nonpartisan election is awaited by all. Boy, nonpartisan. Wouldn't that be nice? Technology. The Orbital Calculator. Cap uh, capable number one of processing ability worldwide. Mechanical computation through the application of orbments has been used in a vast range of fields, beginning with navigational equipment on board airships. However, the Capel, which is located in the Zeiss Central Factory, reigns supreme in this department. The Capel has the ability to instantly locate information from within its databanks, which currently store an amount equal to the numerous encyclopedias. Its inventor, Professor Russell, wait, R, Professor R, is presently researching further possible applications for this technology. That was in the note from the guy from the dad. Like, like he, like either it was sent, like either this orbit was sent from the professor or was meant to get to the professor. Regardless, of, I wonder if I can see the note. Because Professor Russell, that's absolutely got to be... Come on, where's that note? Do we still have it? Okay, so that's just what that is. Oh, come on. I We got a note from Dad. Where is the note? I don't know. Well, maybe we can look at our bracer notebook. Yeah, black orb. Uh, Rosemary, maybe I'll get some clues. And she, okay, okay. I do remember it, it's not letting me know, but I do remember it had a Professor R inside the note reference. I can't remember if it was to or from the professor, but Professor R definitely was part of the note. So that's got to be that Professor Russell. So that must be where we're going next. Interesting. I, I'm going to do one final check. I'm going to go to the store and see if there's any upgrades I can buy of gear. Uh, but I probably can't, because usually you have to go to the next area to do so. Hmm, Mayor Dalmore. You always was one to put on airs, but never in a million years did I think you'd put them on that thick. I right, one last thing I want to do before we go, go. Um, I want to go to the mayor's, uh, residence real quick and see what that's all like right now. I've been working here for a long time, but what should I do about my pay? Yeah, that's got to be a nightmare for the staff. Who would have believed the mayor would be arrested? What's have become of the estate now? I've grown wrapped up in this whole mess. I think I, that Dario and I are going to leave soon to go find new jobs. Maybe I should become a guide? Yeah, there's the sapphire. These are rooms. It'd be interesting, like, what if... Oh, they went in and out there. What if something... I mean, I'm guessing anything relevant to the mayor has been taken, but... I always thought the mayor to be a fine man. I was proud to prepare his meals. When it comes to sorry state, of more, more's the pity. It'd be interesting if there was something left. I've served the house down more for over 30 years. And such a distinguished family with a long history dedicated service to Ruan should come to this. Oh, we can still go to that passage. Interesting. Might check a peek in there, but I kind of just wanted to see if there's anything we could like find in his room. Before we go down that passage, I guess I want to explore the other direction. Oh, it's just another guest chamber. God, so crazy. The drawbridge control units here. Oh, that's how he was able to do that. So he flipped the switch and jumped into his boat and was able to get out of there as the thing was opening. That explains why it happened the way it did. Cool. I mean, I was in such a rush and caught up in the moment. I just didn't bother to check, but that absolutely makes sense. So he was able to raise and bond with monsters. I mean, I'm sure the bonding was like, it's in quotes, like bonding, as in like he gave them food and kept them in a cage, and when he released them, they targeted anything that wasn't him first. But he probably would have been in danger otherwise. But the fact that he could tame those monsters is really interesting. So that hasn't really been postulated as a, as a potential thing you can do. All right, um, yeah, so we don't really have anything else to do. We're just gonna make our way down. Oh. Should I go by the tower real quick? Oh, I don't know if I want to go by the tower. <sighs> but I probably should. Just to be safe. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this. Alright, I made it to the top. Nothing. 
Hi. Because I'm guaranteed. Oh, look at that. Like, there's like the, the lighthouse over there. I didn't even see that. Cool. Very, very beautiful up here, dang it. But because I am determined not to get lost again, I'm just going to load the safe. <laughs> so I don't have to climb this tower. Because <laughs> getting up is easy. I, add a n every time I've tried to get down from the tower, it's been a nightmare. I'll just manipulate time. I've got that ability. That's my orbment. My orbment is the time orbment where I have time manipulation powers as the player. It is pretty here. I've been here before, but this is such a nice little spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Ruan shares a lot of nice places, huh? I, I agree. Ruan, despite the mayor being a butthole, Ruan has been a really nice place. Like, so far, I think it would... Ruan as like a, like a whole would be a really cool place to live. I still think Bose as a city might be more enjoyable to live, though. And the mayor, like, Mayor Maybell's... She's hard to top. She's pretty cool. I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland's also is also a nice, relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right. Zeiss is up ahead. You'll be surprised how charming it is. Hmm, really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, why don't we get the paperwork started then? Okay. Da -da. Da -da 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 yeah, looking around, seeing, up, make sure I don't miss anything. Hello. Hey, welcome to Air Let's Checkpoint. You want to get up there? Go through that. Go through. Head to the counter inside. Can I like explore first? Oh, let's talk. Hey, you're back. Thanks for what you did before. What brings you here today? Feel free to shop whenever you have time to spare. Let's see what you, what do you have? Briny delight. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy one of those. We learn recipe later. Rise. Hey, welcome. This is an inn specifically for travelers. If you need anything, just give me a shout. Luckily, I don't need a rest, but it's good to know. Ah, oh, hello again. I'm still in your debt for actions of His Grace has arrived. Thanks to you, he's not causing any more trouble for the other customers. Though I still have doubts, I'd be happy to cooperate with the Bracers Guild in the future. If anything else comes up, I hope you'll be willing to help. Oh, hi guys. Gotta say, you really did us a solid by dealing with the Duke. Bracers and the Royal Army have never gotten along so well. But I think we can be a little more willing to help each other out in the future. Well, that's good. Building rapport with the army sounds like a really good idea. Good afternoon, how might I be of assistance? We were just wondering if I had to be done to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Ah, okay then. Step right up, I'll take care of you. Be aware though, that once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? <sighs> we're as ready as we're gonna be. Yeah, go on, please. Then start by signing these documents. Estelle and Joshua signed their names to the documents. All right, everything looks to be in order. Yeah, the lady, lady, you're not, is not, is the Ling lady there not joining you? Oh, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of the Chaldea Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Chaldea Tunnel? It's the main road that joins this checkpoint as ice. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Chaldea Hill. Wow, underground road. That'll definitely be a first for me too. Interesting, very interesting. Oh, look at those falls. I love waterfalls. They're pretty cool. I grew up in a city with waterfalls, like we, like a river and, and like not tall, but like long and like really beautiful falls. It's like, it's been a defining part of my childhood. Wow, this is amazing. Of course, it sounds kind of loud here, but if we're actually there, it would be deafening. These things are loud. <laughs> Huh, so water comes from the main man-made river. I think it's called uh, uh, the Lotus, Lo Lota Lotus Waterway. 
It was made a very long time ago. Yes, it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive, given that they did it without any ornaments to help. So, what is that over there? That's the entrance to the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So, I guess this is goodbye. Yes. So, you're going to be traveling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Grand Soul. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Grand Soul around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, come to Grand Soul Guild to the Gu Grand Soul Guild branch. If you do, we can try to beat up. I certainly will. Estelle and Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything you've done for me. C come on, don't be so formal. Or in your debt as well, for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. Well, what a thing to say. When... When we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You cared for no one but yourself, but I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage, and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me to find the courage to hold my head high and to find strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I don't really get it. Me neither. I feel like she's plenty brave, but I'm guessing we'll learn. But if we're able to help you, I'm happy. And that's what makes Estelle great. Unlike me, she can just be okay with not knowing. I go crazy. <laughs> Aww. Oh. <laughs> Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Grassel. Yes, absolutely. Scree! <laughs> Maybe we'll get to see Sieg there too, right? Scree! I love Sieg. That's the thing. Like, it's not just Chloe. I love Sieg. I want Sieg in my life. <laughs> that was a joke. I meant Grantzel's pretty far away. I didn't think those wings would hold. Besides, your home is here. Scree? <laughs> Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. <laughs> Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, shall we be off? Yeah. Hey, good luck to both of you on your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. Scree! Thank you. You two take care. I like how Estelle walked backwards, like, waving. Josh is kind of like, alright, let's go. Scree? Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. It's gonna be that Admiral Lady, yeah. Miss Julia, you done with your duties in Lestian Fortress? Yes, it took longer than I anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've come to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. Scree! So, shh. So the lieutenant is getting a report from Chloe. Does that imply that Chloe outranks her? Or at least it, she's in the chain of command for the Royal Guard. The very least that. But the way she like, treats her with respect and didn't like overtly like call her out almost makes me think that Chloe wanted to keep it a secret whatever their relationship is. Which is, she just implied here, like saying, like, I need to confront what my reality is. So what is her reality? Just how involved as her family and things. Hey now, settle down, Sieg. Have you been fulfilling your duty as escort? Oh, is, is Sieg her pet? Scree! <laughs> He's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sieg? Scree! He's certainly chipper. Uh, the Araceli is stopped at the end of the highway. You are to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Gransel. Estelle, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me, show that I can be strong. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see to that. Oh, wouldn't that be so sad if she ended up being like the bad guy somehow? I would, I would be utterly devastated. That would suck. I don't think it's gonna happen. But it's like, part of me is just like, ah, oh, that would be a horrible twist. Hmm? 
What's wrong? Nothing. Got a feeling that someone was coming. Hmm. There's someone in here other than us. Hmm. Guess not. Yeah. Sorry, I must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I think you still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? Did she not pay attention to the- wait, uh, never mind. What makes you say that? Don't be so shy. I know you could- I can read you like a book. No, you can't! <laughs> it's not unreasonable, after all. You did, uh, kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? You said yes, right? I guess you didn't notice then. Huh? Notice what? The last scene? That we j that was just for show, you know. It was staged, so just it like so it just would look like a real kiss for the audience. What? <laughs> you really can't be completely clueless sometimes. <laughs> it was written right there in the script notes. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see. Note to self: Do not insert foot into mouth. Wait, no. You mean you do? Do insert foot in the mouth. But why do I feel so relieved? Uh, Estelle? You okay? <laughs> fine, fine! Come on, come on! It's nice to wait! Okay, okay. I love you, Estelle. That's why, like, that alone is part of why she's really top girl. She's so clueless and yet so earnest. It's like, she doesn't need to have brains. She's just driven. And that's super compelling. Oh, a split in the path. A monster down here. Let's check out a fight, why don't we? Let's see what this cave got for us. Random attack. All right, you are a damp crawler. A larval monster living in the darkness spews sticky fluid to weaken its prey. Cool, that sounds horrifying. But there's treasure chests around here. Yep, there's one. A terror bomb. The chest is empty, like your thieving heart. Found a curio bomb. The chest is empty because you removed the contents, you looter. I like how the chests are judging us. Now how much you want to bet there's a last chest in here and a monster attacks again. I'm gonna save, because I'm like the rule of three is screaming that now we're gonna get attacked. Found a terror bomb. Nope. Nope, still empty. Okay. I literally like I'm shocked. I'm shocked we weren't attacked. Oh, look at that thing. What are you? Oh, it's fast. We didn't get, I thought we got preemptive. It looks like we didn't, though. All right. Uh, interesting, it's like over there. Cave Ray, a monster living in the dark underground, fast and armed with poisonous fins. Weak to fire and wind. That's something. All right. Now's the monster chest, right? Now, now I, I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Lure to false security. Got a nice big chest. Death blow two. Reduce the searching empty chest. That's really sad. Don't judge me. I'm also, I'm now getting a little disappointed. I don't want to be attacked by monsters, but I'm kind of sad. That I'm calling it out and it's not happening. What are you? Like a spider thing. All right. Um. Bubble blower. Crustacean monster living in the darkness breathes hypnotic bubbles. That's terrifying. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Just got a lot of free loot. Oh, we're not done. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, calling it early. I need to stop doing that. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's like just, uh, just an underground river or something? Oh, it's one of those healing ports. That's actually kind of disturbing. Why would it give me healing for free? Why? <laughs> All right, so now we're at full heal, full mana. We're gonna fight something big, huh? I wanna wait and see. I might come back and fight the monsters, but like I'm, I'm, I'm super confident that something massive's down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice to save. Warning, beware monsters. Well, that's exactly what we're here for. Oh, interesting. No map here. What the fetch are you things? All 
Alright. Blue penguin. Excitable monster nesting in caves skilled with water-based arts. Uh, not weak to anything in particular, either. Ooh. This place might be expecting us to have more people than just two. EP charge EX. Just empty. Nefarious! Ah, getting turned around, literally. Get out of here, you stupid penguin. Whoa. What the fetch are you? I'm guessing this chest is gonna be a monster chest, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Because, again, third time's the third time's the charm. Yeah, look at that, it's a big white one. Oh, it's a clan. All right, let's take a look at these. Okay, red. Side of a monster, beware it's pecking attack and sharp beak. Blue, water, the white one. Side of a monster in case can kill its prey with a single attack. Oh, cool. Cool. Green, yellow, um, it's a gas. Think, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, come on, come on, please, at least take out the one that's trying to cast the spell. Oh no! <laughs> yep. Alright, let's try that again. Now, this battle sadly went worse than the last one. Not now. Okay. I'm glad I saved before this, but we definitely have an issue here. Oh, I lost that one. I wanted to kill it. Ah, uh, well. You know, at this rate, I will take what I can freaking get. We got him. Oh, it took three tries. Found a G impact. It's empty. What developed the prey individual would do something like this? I know, right? G impact. I bet you I would have got some cool stuff if I'd been able to kill the white one, but I'm not gonna be that fussed about it when I was struggling just to freaking survive. So G impact. Oh. I forgot an experiment with a high output orbital or orbital cannon uh cannon. Range area medium. Ooh. I'm liking the sound of that. That sounds freaking cool. All right, I'm gonna cook some stuff real quick. So give me, give me, give me a, give me a second. Air bomb. The chest empty, but covered with scratches. Spells out the Mr. Tittles was what? Mr. Tittles was here. That sounds like a. That's not a name I'd want to have. <laughs> okay. So this cave's just full of, like, these adorably absurd penguins of various colors with different abilities. Uh-oh. There's a white one there. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna take the white one out and see if I can kill it. And then I'm gonna open this chest and probably have to find another one. Or maybe this is the one that ran away. Hmm. Okay. Come on, Cloak and Dagger. Dude, did that trigger again? Did I get the KO attack there, or did he just hit really hard? I don't know how to tell. <laughs> if that hit again, you all are going to be raving in the comments. You're going to be raving, and I love it. <laughs> du, du, da, 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 da. Got to kill the big white bird. Level up. I will take it. Fetch me. That was great. Save. We're not losing that in case this chest does attack me. I knew it! <laughs> it's gonna be the same battle, isn't it? Yep. Well, we learned. Good. That took care of it. Now, Josh is probably still going to go unconscious here, unfortunately, but 
I feel like we can recover from that. Maybe. Oh, there he goes. Not now. Alright, the white one fled. Oh my gosh! Dang it! We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, you what? What? How did it just not get hit? Oh, good grief. Oh. Oh, gosh, no! Am I gonna lose now? Because of confusion? Okay, um, item. We're good to go. Die. <laughs> you and your confusion. <laughs> I'm not dying here, you know, I had to spend a bunch of my resources. <sighs> Why? What the fetch is happening here? Throwing fish at us. What is happening? Why? Alright, there must be something I'm missing about this guy. Let me check his inspiration information again. Girls fist and critical strength. It doesn't say why it's just not taking any damage. I did like nothing. There we go. At least that did something. Maybe, maybe it just needs to be attacked with arts. There we go. Fetch me. <sighs> uh, we're good to go. EP3. Not a zilch zero. Tell me about it. Okay, first we're saving. So I'm not doing that again. And then... What was that? It said something three. EP3. Okay, okay. These caves never freaking end! Whoa. Oh, is there gonna be like a, a mission here eventually? Like I'm gonna have to find my way back here? Alright, well, I have a general idea of how to get here now. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm guessing I'll have another party member with me which will make this a lot simpler. Terra bomb. Chest is empty. Nefarious. Ugh, it's one of you. I'm I'm good. I've had my fill. Terra bomb. Chest is empty. Madness. 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 Okay. You stupid white demon. I might have to give up on this last chest. I doubt it has anything that interesting in it anyway. I just it itches. Like I want to get it all. Oh. Okay. Terra bomb. 
Empty chest, scandalous. All right. Well, now I think we can go. I think we've explored everywhere in here. And now I just gotta find my way out of this. That's, that's gonna be a, a tall order. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That was a nightmare. I am so glad that's over with. You know what? That's enough excitement for today. I think we're gonna stop here. More eventful than I was anticipating, but this is a good place to end. I'm guessing now that I've done that, it's, I'm probably gonna emerge on the other side. We're gonna be able to introduce to the new area and all that good stuff, so let's just save that for next week, but... Ugh, oh, those penguins are gonna be dancing in my dreams tonight. They weren't even, like I said, they weren't even the worst. They were just obnoxious. All the status effects and all the different approaches and everything. I'm gonna get away from that turtle real quick, just in case. Um, but all of that really was really just a nightmare right there. It wasn't the worst, but it was bad, and I'm glad it's over. Uh, I'm sure I'll go back. Like I said, there's that weird room at the end that had nothing in it. It just seemed too, like, prominent to have nothing going on in it, so I'm sure we're gonna be back here for something. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really good. Lots of interesting implications. I'm excited to see what's happening next. I want to learn more about this this black orbment, which I definitely there's definitely a larger like picture thing happening there. So I do think it's at least part and parcel of like the reason why the old civilization fell. So we'll just have to figure all that out then. But I appreciate you spending your time here. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed watching me and watching me struggle to fight penguins because that's essentially what just happened. Like I'm, I, it's like it's like a like a visualization of Benedict Cumberbatch's struggle to say the word, except in a physical form, and it makes me want to pull my hair out. But yeah, that was good. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Thank you so much, especially to the patrons who make it possible for me to make more content more often. It's amazing. Thank you so much for your direct support. I hope you enjoy the the perks that come with it, being able to vote on directly the games that we play on our Fridays and the Tuesday slots. So after we finish the Oculus Zero. Patrons and members are going to help me select what the next game we play there is. That's not a, like that's more JRPG like. That's not going to be like it, it can be anything really, just not visual novel. Um, so will we play the next Yakuza game? Will we play something else first? We'll have to just see. But we'll get to there when we get to it. Anyway, thank you so much. And until next video, watching me, have seen me next. I'll see you there.